How to tell if somebody is a coke addict. I don't think there's enough knowledge and enough awareness around cocaine addiction. I was a cocaine addict. It was one of my drugs of choice. I was a cocaine alcoholic addict. And you don't really pick up or sometimes think that cocaine is, is powerful and strong of a drug as it really is. It's almost more acceptable. I mean, it's cocaine is way more acceptable by society standards than heroin or meth or any of these other drugs out there. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it has so much to do with what, you know, the media portrays it as or, or what Hollywood portrays it as. But cocaine to me was a devastating drug. And one of the things is if you are addicted to cocaine, it's not like a heroin addict where you see track marks. It's not like a meth addict where you see all the picking and the scabs. You see the missing teeth. When it comes to cocaine, it's to really knowing that somebody's an addict is actually hard to pick up on. Uh, some of the signs, if somebody is really a cocaine addict, one, they're going to be spending a lot of money. They're probably always going to be kind of broke or they're going to be always looking for money. They're going to be looking for quick money too because you want to get that high back. If you see a massive boost in their confidence, that's another sign that somebody can be a coke addict. And now don't get me wrong, it's not to diagnose anybody or be like, hey, look at them. But when it's a combination of a lot of these, it really means that this person has done something that's altering their life right now. And cocaine gives you this huge ego boost. It gives you this almost like the superpower feeling inside that like you're unstoppable, that you're cool. It really is weird what it does to your head. If you see somebody who loses a lot of weight, uh, that's another sign that they can be a coke addict. I mean, if somebody has this huge ego and they're losing a lot of weight and their nose is running constantly, and you notice that they're constantly playing with their nose, they constantly are congested. They're constantly telling you that it's just sinuses, stuff like that. Those are usually the subtle signs that somebody's a coke addict. The hard thing when it comes to cocaine addiction is there's nothing big that stands out that says, hey, this person's addicted to cocaine. Uh, if somebody constantly talks about cocaine, though, that, again, is a sign that they might be a, a user of it. They might be addicted to it. Uh, if you notice their mood fluctuations, if, the, if they're constantly bringing up, hey, let's go get some cocaine, when it comes to partying, it's always about cocaine. You'll notice that all of a sudden cocaine becomes something that's kind of on the forefront of their brain. Uh, they make a lot more jokes about it. It's easier in conversation. They bring it up a lot. And you notice it, and it's very subtle. But if you pay attention, you notice that their whole shift and their whole demeanor around cocaine is more excitement of, hey, oh, you can get some? Let's go get it. Cocaine is something that just, it draws you in and it sucks out your soul is the sad part about it. And it is one of those drugs that it's such a temporary feeling that you constantly keep craving more and more of it. Again, there are no warning signs that somebody's addicted to cocaine. If you have a feeling that somebody's addicted to cocaine, talk to them about it. You know, bring it up to them. Just be like, hey man, what's going on? The more real that you are with somebody who's going through any kind of addiction, the more likely they are to at least maybe share with you. And no one's ever going to get sober unless they decide to get sober for themselves. And the one thing that Coke will do is it will drain their bank account. You'll notice them getting into the point that of money struggles because it starts to affect your work. It starts to affect your money. Next thing you know, it starts to affect your bills. It starts to affect your life in that aspect because cocaine is one of the more expensive drugs out there. And it takes a lot to continually do to continually reach that high or to even try and get higher. So money is the biggest aspect that you see flooding through somebody, and they're always in search of more money. Uh, affecting your job, not so much. I was a very functioning cocaine addict. I was a very functioning alcoholic, but money was always an issue. That and the fact that I could never breathe. Uh, again, the struggles with cocaine are real. For anybody out there that's struggling with cocaine, my heart goes out to you. I got links down below for anybody who's struggling. But just check out for some of the warning signs. Keep a check out on your friends for some of the warning signs. If you're going to a party and they always are kind of asking, hey, is there Coke there? Is it available? Odds are they probably got something that's turned into a, from maybe just a recreational drug to all of a sudden a habit to an addiction. And that addiction is hard to break because we don't feel we have a problem. We don't feel that Coke is as dangerous as the other drugs out there are. And it really is. So if you are struggling, then go get some help reach out for help, tell people that you're struggling. Believe me, that high that you get, that temporary high, isn't as, isn't as good as just actually living life to the fullest. And I could say that from experience. Click that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And just remember that you matter, that you're stronger than the addiction.